So Samsung has just changed the game. So I'd like you to meet Gemini, the brand new AI assistant now built into your Galaxy device and get ready to transform the way you work, play and live. So let's dive in. How's it everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're taking a close look at Gemini and Gemini isn't just built into Samsung devices. It's going to be rolled out across the board and it is actually also available on web. But this is a disclaimer. We're just talking specifically about Gemini on Samsung devices. So starting off, what is Gemini? So Gemini is Google's next generation of AI assistants. It's actually replacing Google Assistant in some devices and on the Samsung devices actually taking precedence over even Samsung's propriety Bixby. So like on the S25 series, like the device I'm holding in my hand. Review coming very, very soon. So it's not just smarter, it's actually designed to understand your voice, your images and even your surroundings all at the same time. So what can Gemini actually do? Gemini has many different features, right? And it's built up of many different parts, starting off with a multimodal mode. So Gemini can actually understand text, voice, and images all at once. So say, for example, you take a photo, you can ask a question about it and Gemini will give you a full answer. The second is Gemini Live. So Gemini Live, you could activate your camera and Gemini Live instantly translates signs and stuff that are in the um, screen. And I mean, like for example, if you are looking at a menu that's in French and you don't understand French, Gemini can actually translate that to English so that you can read and actually order something off that. Um, it can also give you cooking instructions while you're actually preparing a dish. Um, it even suggests fashion advice <laughs> based on what you're wearing. So, so that means a lot of people's fashion sense are going to be getting better. <laughs> um, there's also very deep app integrations. So um, it's also, it's, uh, Gemini is actually built into apps like Samsung Calendar, Samsung Notes, Google Maps, Gmail, and many more. So you can tell Gemini to book you meetings, create reminders, draft emails with just a voice prompt talking to Gemini. There's also an advanced reasoning and coding in here. So it can translate codes between different languages and debug programs and even help solve complex problems for developers on the go. Gemini can, besides just coding, there is also a feature built in where it can um, actually assist with homework, right? And I actually saw that in action at one of the activations for the S25 series. Now, how do you use Gemini? Accessing Gemini is very simple, right? So on the side button of most of your devices, your power button, you're gonna long press the side button and then Gemini comes up. You can also swipe up from the bottom corner of your uh, Galaxy screen. So it's virtually ready whenever you need it. Now, there are a lot of questions when it comes to privacy and control. And don't worry, Samsung and Google have built Gemini with privacy in mind. Sensitive tasks are actually processed directly on device, while heavier tasks are processed through encrypted servers. Um, plus, you can stay in control of what data gets used where, as well as you can choose um, whether you're using just on-device features or you're using it in conjunction with the server processing and you can actually disable server processing as well. Let's talk about delivery. So which Samsung devices get Gemini? So Gemini is currently rolling uh, out on a huge range of Samsung devices, including the S25 series, the 24, the 23s, the 23 FEs, and the S22s and S21s, right? The Z series, the Z flips from, I think the Fold 3 upwards, as well as the Tab S9 and S8 models, 
as well as A series devices from I think the A55 and A54 coming newer. So you just have to keep in mind some advanced Gemini features may vary depending on region as well as the device, but core Gemini features um, are there and it's absolutely powerful. And I mean, some of these devices like example, the S24 and S25 series, those processes are built with um, AI uh, in mind. So those devices are going to work better than obviously some of your older that doesn't have an NPU on it, right? And that's a wrap on Gemini, your new AI powered partner on Samsung devices. Um, there are some features which are Samsung AI and then there are some features which are Gemini AI and Gemini AI is going to be available not just on your S25 series, it's going to be available on your Honors, on your um, basically every single phone that runs Android. These features are going to slowly be coming up on but because obviously Samsung and Google are good friends, Samsung gets it first and I mean who are we to complain, we love getting features first. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this breakdown, you can let me know by hit, giving a like rating if you did. And make sure you subscribe to TechScene ZA to stay up to date with the latest tech updates. There's also a video coming very, very soon that's going to talk about One UI 7. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you can make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant and I will catch you in the next video.